Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 31st tutorial on jQuery and now we work with Ajax so this is your pretty much um, the most important lesson on Ajax for the most part and uh, we are using this function get to get this file's contents and this is the path to the file uh, which contents we need and this get functions te function takes two parameters which is path to the file and the function and this function will run when the uh, when the server responds and uh, when the server responds server delivers data and uh, we call the variable data and you can access the variable data within this function and this is pretty much your server's respond and the server's answer is just exactly the contents of this file because it's a simple txt file it doesn't have any echoes like in PHP so it only gives its own contents to uh, to this Ajax function uh, alright I talked a lot and it's probably sometimes very uh, hard to understand um, so we'll just go ahead and uh, program this function so that we just know how it works but before we um, can work with it we need uh, to get a path of this text document we're looking for and you know uh, we have eight images and we also have uh, eight text documents and I called uh, I named them from one to eight and the HTML elements image they also have IDs from one to eight so if a uh, user clicks image number four and we have the, the this ID for we only need to add the txt extension and there we go and so we, we can get the file so I'll create a variable and I call it path and I, set it, I set it equal to um, text because the, this, these text documents are stored in a folder called text right here and it says slash and then a plus and then ID and this ID is um, is a variable is a, a parameter which we pass to this function when, when we call it and we just fetch this ID using this jQuery function of attribute and after we have uh, our ID we only need to add the extension of the file which is uh, .txt and then we are done so and now I'll just replace this path in, in the parentheses to uh, the word path which is a variable we just defined and now we already have the access to this data and uh, let's just go ahead and print it out like this uh, using this console log function so we can just display this data so um, what do we expect this code to do every time we uh, open a new picture we will uh, get the descriptions of the of this image in the console so let's just go ahead and test it I'll reload the page click the first picture and then I need to open the console so right now I see this is saying one dot description for blah 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 and this is the text we have in the third, in the fourth, and the fifth document. And in the eighth document, I wrote something else. I wrote this phrase. This is a sample description for our awesome portfolio. So when I open the picture number eight, I expect this text to appear. And it does. This is a sample, blah, blah, blah. So now we have it. So this is pretty much how Ajax works and this was like the simplest Ajax request uh, I ever know. So and in the next tutorials I'll try to figure out um, some more like complicated requests so you guys learn a lot about um, Ajax and how jQuery works with Ajax. And just in order so that you can compare how many lines of code you would you would need if you use you would you if you would do the same using JavaScript uh, like a normal JavaScript you would uh, need a variable called I'll just call it XML HTTP request and set it equal to new XML HTTP request and then you would um, cr like define a bunch of functions and then when the server responds it will uh, also have a function so it will take like I don't want to do it right now 
because it's not a tutorial on that, you'll have like eight or ten lines of code only to fetch the contents of this um, text file. And in jQuery, well, it's actually only one line of code, so we make it um, t three lines of code. It's actually one line of code. So, and you can uh, get a file a file's contents. Contents. And in the next tutorial, we are going to uh, display this contents, this, this, uh, this description, not in the console because it's stupid. We'll display it uh, right here, just under the picture. So I hope you guys like this tutorial, and now you're familiar with Ajax, and you know what Ajax is, uh, at least. And in the next tutorial, we are going to go and uh, make some cool stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the 30-second tutorial. Have a nice one.